Oof. Hello there, my good friends of YouTube. Well, it's about two o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning, two o'clock, and uh, been to the scrapyard today, of course. Uh, the old scrapyard video on there, and uh, brought back another microwave oven transformer, the big one of the big ones. Uh, so I've got two of them now, and um, of course these are 415 volt. I think it's 415 volt to primary. Uh, Yep, 300 to 415 volt primary and of course I'm wiring them in a different way to try and get as much out of them as I can um, even though they are 2100 volts um, secondary output the way I've wired, wired them I get a lot more than that I'm probably touching 20 kV probably between 15 and 20 kV and uh, <clears throat> what I've done I've uh, wired the primaries in parallel and the secondaries in series to try and get as much out of these beauties as much as possible. The arc's not as much as something like one of those big um, potential transformers. It's not quite as big as one of those because they are just big meaty beefy bastards. So there we go. Look at those. Two big massive microwave oven transformers. Now I'm putting 4,000 actually yeah it's about 4000 watts I'm putting through these and it's it does get to <laughs> does get quite crazy on the aid primers they do get a little warm because why how I'm wiring them is you can just see there if my phone can focus there you go so of course I'm not using the com I'm using the other primaries the 415 and 380 I'm actually wired straight to those on both of them in parallel so that gives me more of an output. It does cause the primaries to get a little warm. Um, but of course it's ballasted so it can't pull any more current. So let's uh, let's have a go. Actually I need to get this on a stand because I need an, a hand for that bloody... What's it? Chicken stick. Let's see if I can wire it up. I need to download an app for my phone so I can pause it. Because with it being a... Sony, it's uh, just got record and stop. Should have thought about this first. What? I just did it on the ode. Thought, you know, let's do a video. So there's the. Let me get this in there. Yeah. There we go. Marvellous. <coughs> I've got this awesome fan to show you as well, which I found at the scrapyard today. 27 volts DC. How uh, awesome is that? Two little squirrel cages. Need to strip it down and clean it up, but I'll show you that working in a minute. Alright. Sorry, don't mean to get in the old way. Just why I just power up. Let's see if I can move this. I don't want you to... So sorry. <laughs> Pretty garages are right, is it? There we go. Right, this is half. Saying half, it's about a hundred volts. It's got quite a lot of current on the output, I know that.
glowing look. That's how much current there is. Absolutely insane. That is some serious, serious current, guys. Jesus Christ. Whew. And I'll tell you, the primaries, they're not even bloody warm yet. Let's get you off there. The primaries are not even warm yet. Look at the thickness of that secondary. So, you can understand, if I can get 400 volts, which I'm going to have to try and sort out a transformer, wiring it up, or even probably rewinding that bloody transformer down there out of um, a welder. You know, we, we, we rewind it, winding the, uh, the secondary. Because, uh, Jesus Christ, these things are serious, some serious, serious voltage and current. You've seen in the uh, scrapyard video how thick the secondary is on this the wiring unbelievable <clears throat> but uh, even though these have got little scuff marks it's actually quite thick insulation around them very well made I will say that for a microwave oven transformer you're probably looking at some serious wattage on the output of this thing once um, you know it was when it was in the microwave It shunt there. Should take that out and get more out of it. But, uh, still got a bit of leaves from the scrapyard. Need to clean it up. Beautiful transformers. Really, really nice. Look at the thickness of that secondary. Jesus. Awesome stuff. So, let me show you. That bloody squirrel cage, bloody DC fan. Right, I'll steal it back in the tripod. Not very bloody organised, am I? I do apologise. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Yes, I've got my two doggies there. <laughs> Classic. Right. <clears throat> Just found that new pile. Couldn't believe it. Right, this is on 12 volts. Needs a bit of oil, which I'm going to strip it down and clean it. This is Like a bloody sounds like a bloody jet engine. This thing does. So, see the camera can focus. Ilford, England, and it's made by Ples Plessy. <laughs> Very strange. <clears throat> Unit four four C Z nine five zero six zero. Serial number double three two six. Motor type FC1610C, not even in the camera, sorry. 
slash 2 27.5 volts DC at 1.25 amps 0. Uh, dot zero two horsepower at eleven thousand two hundred RPM. Aircraft electrical division. Oh, so it's out of an aircraft, guys. How awesome is that? Aircraft bloody motor. I didn't even notice that. You know, didn't even notice that. That is so cool. But well, yes, I shall, this is a keeper, and no, I'm not going to blow it up on the variac. <laughs> I'm going to strip it down and uh, oil those bearings and uh, give it a good clean up because that is very nice, and you don't normally see anything like that at all. Well, I've never seen anything like that, especially, you know, as small as this. Beautiful, lovely piece of engineering. So, um. <clears throat> Uh, did take this apart from the scrap yard and uh, yeah there's a load of um, 2.4 k ohm resistors there's about eight in there Hold on two four six sorry eight ten oh no there's twelve do you beg your pardon twelve resistors in there guys very nice indeed <clears throat> and uh, how else did I get there's something else I wanted to show you and I'll probably Bloody forget, where are you? Oh yeah, this is those resistors that I was telling you about. Two of them. Aren't they lovely? Ceramic and all. Lovely ceramic resistors. Listen to that wind outside. Lovely wire wound. Let's see if there's a ohms on there, how many ohms there are. In fact, let me get the ohms meter. Because I've not even tested these things myself yet. Two doggies just sitting there, bless them. Right, are we on camera? Mm -hmm. Just about. On my next video, guys, I will be a bit more pretty uh, sorted out. Right, let's have a reading, shall we? Now this centre tap just here is going to be is arcing out um, quite a few of the windings, so it'll probably be a different. It will be a different reading once this is taken away here. So it's very low. Fifty-three point three. 53.4 ohms very low see what the center one is and the center one is 29.2 ohms 29.0 29.2 keeps going up and down we due to hum humidity and everything else Let's see if this one's the same it's, it's identical but you never know <clears throat> I can actually change it by holding it and that is 52.1 not bad at all but well, you know of course as soon as you see something like that you want it straight away don't you because ceramic resistors like that you can bloody wind that yourself if it burns out <clears throat> got bloody loads of bloody resistors now right then guys Bless him. Hello, he's a good boy. <laughs> <clears throat> Did an awesome pick with my new bloody printer. Awesome. Can't beat some arcs. Thought I'd have to print out and see how it goes. It's that glossy paper as well. The first time I've actually had a printer that uh, prints photos, I went bloody mad with it. <laughs> So then guys, uh, yes I need a clean up, I've got bloody all sorts of stuff to move about and scrap and weigh in and whatnot. 
I thought I'd share that with you anyway and I hope you enjoyed it. I did promise that I would get another mot and uh, show you it working. God, they're awesome they are. Imagine if you had four of those things. Jesus Christ. Right, thanks for watching guys. Look after yourselves and be safe whatever you're doing. Yes, I'm knackered, I suppose you probably can tell. Uh, it is gone two o'clock now. So, <laughs> take care. Hopefully I'll have a video again for you soon guys. See you soon, bye-bye.